Okay, I've been doing art and music since I can remember. Started playing instruments when I was 10, was drawing like well before that. I think I was nine when I started private lessons, so this is pretty much like the, the happy little bane of my existence. It's like a blessing and a curse. It, like the grass is always greener, right? Like all my friends that aren't creative are like, I wish I could do that, and I'm like, yeah, but you guys will have like normal functioning lives because you don't do this. <laughs> so, like yeah, it's cool, like great, I can make cool things on paper without thinking about it. Like, it's just what I do, it's who I am. But, like, trying to make career moves with it, like, it's hard. I hate the whole, like, art and music saved my life, but in a roundabout way, I guess it has. And I think a lot of artists, like, we're pretty introverted people, we're very inward, right? But it was beyond that, like, I was, like, legitimately, just socially broken. Like I did not feel comfortable talking to people. I didn't make eye contact for like a really long time. I like literally just didn't want anything to do with people. I wanted to be left alone in my bedroom with my devices, like period. There were definitely dark days, you know, and I used to never want to talk about that because I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. It's not like a, oh my God, I'm so sorry you lived a life like that. Like I, that's how I wanted it to be. And you kind of get used to like, being okay with that darkness. And I think to some degree it's appropriate and then there's sometimes where I was like, no, I need a little sunshine, just a little bit. It comes from like a place in your soul and if this is what my soul looks like, I guess sometimes like it's a little sad. I'm, I tend to be drawn to like very melancholy things. I just like accept the fact that I'm a little strange, like it's fine. <laughs> and like socially awkward and I'm like, just leave me alone with my paintbrushes. So, a coworker one day had like a piece that I had painted for a kid I was dating at the time in my back seat to take it to him for a birthday gift after work and she was like, where did you get that? And I like very like uncomfortably was like, I did it. <laughs> and she like got really mad at me. She was like, you're a great stylist, but why aren't you like, why aren't you doing this? Like, why aren't you doing this every day? Not everybody can do that. And she like flipped out on me and I was like, God, okay, like maybe we'll like, I'll think about some things. And when I moved to LA, like I met somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody and all of a sudden they were saying the words to me, so you're good for whatever day it was. And I was like, good for what? And they're like, to show your work. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do that. And they're like, no, it'll be really chill. It's a group show and it was at that like weird pivotal moment in my life where people saw my work and people made these connections with it. These people who are making these really intimate emotional connections with my work saying it reminds them of something or it makes them feel better and all these things and I, that's a really big part of who I am as a person. You know, I've always been really, really empathetic and I think it has to do with being like that sensitive artist thing or whatever, but to me, it made a big difference to know that even though my body of work isn't for everybody, if it touches that one person and it helps them heal, then that's important. So yes, I do think the world needs that whole Renaissance lifestyle of like art and music. It, it is therapeutic for a lot of people. You're gonna have people tell you they hate your stuff. You have to be able to just shut people down and be like, okay, if you don't like it, then it's not for you. But then you'll get that one person that literally comes to you in tears and is like, thank you for doing this, it changed my life. And that's like the only reason I still do this.